Okay, let's talk about a single replacement reaction. This is one of the five basic types of reactions. First thing we want to do is when we examine this reaction, make sure we understand the facts of the reaction. Now that means you have to identify, is it single replacement? For instance, if it is just, just something A plus B, producing AB, that is a composition or combination reaction. Or if it's AB, two elements combined forming an A element, or an A compound plus B element or B compound, that's decomposition. Or if it's a reaction with a carbon-hydrogen compound and oxygen is involved, and you're getting carbon dioxide and water, you know it is a combustion reaction. But this type of reaction that we're dealing with now is when you have an element, A, combining with a compound, we'll call it BC, and it's gonna be almost always in solution. Hear that, AQ, that means aqueous, that means dissolved in water. Now, this is what I call the bully reaction. This is where A, if A is a metal, it will replace a metal ion. Now, here's what I mean. A will replace B. If B and C are dancing out there in the dance floor, and here comes a bully. B it replaces it, and B is out there all by itself. And what you end up getting is B by itself, and you get AC, and that's going to be in solution. Okay. So, after we get the facts, we have to make sure we have formulas for A and B and C, and we never change those formulas once we write them. Why? because they represent the facts and you can't change the facts. And after that, the third thing, and I think it's the easiest, is to balance the atoms or balance the mass. Now, for this reaction to happen, we have to examine something called an activity series. And this is over here in the far right. And the activity series is this. I would recommend you put your finger on an element such as magnesium, Mg, and then you look at all the metals below it or all the substances. One is hydrogen there. It will replace that. It will become the bully, but it will not replace anything above it. All right? So let's, let's try it. Put your finger on aluminum. Aluminum is Al. The fact is it's aluminum. We will write the formula for aluminum. Al has no charge, zero. And we're going to put it in a solution that's aqueous of copper to chloride. Copper to chloride. I'll write it right here. Copper 2, Roman numeral 2 is a stock system, means it's 2 plus. Cu is 2 plus, chloride is 1 minus, is CuCl2. Now, here's a question, and you can predict from the activity series. Will aluminum replace copper? Go back, put your finger on screen on aluminum, then look at everything below it. It will replace the ion of every metal below it. Remember this. Cations or metals replace metals. Nonmetals replace nonmetals. And we'll look at one of those. So the products here are going to be AlCl3 plus copper. So this blue solution is copper chloride and it's going to become orange metal. And then you have to balance it, number three. Two chlorine and 3-chlorine, common number is 6, 
3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and you put the 3 copper here, and the 2 aluminum there. All right, now let's look at the reverse process. The reverse process is where you have aluminum chloride, aqueous, plus copper. And I'll put a little zero there, meaning it's a metal. Positive and negative is the same. But this is the same as on the right side of the equation. The Up here, this was the product side. Now listen to this. You would simply write here when you write it, no reaction. RxN shorthand for reaction. 50% of the single replacement reactions that you can write do not happen because they are the other half of the other of the 50% that do happen. You got that? So aluminum will react with the copper chloride. Therefore, the copper will not have, react with aluminum chloride. Let's prove that. Go back to this activity series and write, put your finger on copper. It will replace everything below it. Do you see aluminum below it? No. So it will not replace it. So that reaction will not happen. That reaction will not happen. Now let's do one more example here. Magnesium metal, it's MG. It's a solid. The magnesium is a fact. That's the formula. And we put it in hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. You should know or be memorizing or have already memorized the common acids. Hydrochloric acid is, is H, HCl. I'll get this right here. Sooner or later. HCl dissolved in water and that's aqueous. Now look, look put your finger on hydrogen. Will magnesium replace it? Yes, magnesium is above it. Magnesium will be a successful bully. It will bump out the hydrogen. And there it goes. And what you get is hydrogen, which will be a diatomic. It's a gas. You have to write H2. And what's left over is a solution of Mg. Now it's 2 plus group 2, Cl group 7, MgCl2 aqueous. And you have to balance it. You have 2 chlorine and 2 hydrogen, and you just put a 2 out front here. Having a rough time with these colors here. 2 out in front. 2H and 2Cl, and it's balanced. Okay, so there's two examples of reactions. Will hydrogen replace magnesium chloride? No, for the same reason. It's below it in the activity series. Final thing I'll mention real quick, the very active metals like sodium. Sodium will react with, put right water as HOH. Sodium will replace the hydrogen. This is viewed as a positive or cation here. And it will form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. And this is a pretty violent reaction and sometimes the hydrogen will explode. Okay. And see why you write hydrogen to hydrogen to hydroxide to sodium to sodium. All right, we'll stop right there.